The wind was blowing very hard in Toyland. Noddy's washing just did not want to be pegged onto the line. Do stop playing about! If you won't hang on the line, you'll never get dry. What shall I do with this peg? Oh, I know. Hello, Noddy. Tessie Bear, how lovely to see you. What a lot of eggs you have. I have to take them to the farm gate to leave them on Mr Straw's milk churn. Then Milkman can pick them up and sell them. I was hoping you would take me there in your car. Of course I will. As soon as I've hung up my washing. <laughs> Why are you wearing a peg on your nose? Am I? Oh, yes. You have to keep pegs somewhere until you're ready to use them, you know. Oh, what's the matter? I've just had a wonderful idea. It's such a lovely windy day. We could take a picnic and fly my red kite in Mr. Straw's field. There. Now I can help you fly your kite. Hurry, Tessie. The kite's longing to fly. It'll pull so hard we'll both have to hold the string. I'm ready. Here it goes! Whee! Fly, kite! Fly! High up in the sky! Fly, kite! Fly! Oh, Noddy, this is such fun! Hold tight, Tessie! It's going up in the clouds! Look out, kite! You'll bump your head! How will we have our picnic holding on to this string? We'll tie it to something and then the kite won't be able to fly away. Oh, Noddy, you are clever. Hmm. What shall we tie the string to? The milk churn's heavy. We could tie the string to its handle. Come on! There. Now we can have our picnic. Very windy. Come on, let's fly the kite again. <gasps> Tessie, what's the matter? Look! Stop! Stop! Stop, Churn! Stop! Come back at once! <gasps> oh, Noddy! Come down here! How dare you fly away with Tessie's eggs? Come on, Noddy. Let's get into your car and follow the churn. Well, we can easily see it flying through the air. What fine goods you sell, Dinah doll. Oh, I just felt a spot of rain. It's not raining over here. Oh, it's raining here. <laughs> it's not raining here. I don't believe it's raining at all. It must be raining. Look, <laughs> there's a puddle. But it's a white puddle. That looks like milk to me. It can't be milk. It tastes like milk. So it must be raining milk. <laughs> oh, dear me. Someone's dropped an egg on my head. Out of the sky? There must be a bird up there, laying eggs. Birds don't lay eggs when they're flying. They lay them in nests. <laughs> oh, I say. Somebody's laid an egg on your head, Jumbo. Oh! I'm sorry about that, Mr. Beetle. Now then, what's going on here? I'm afraid I have to report, Mr. Plod, that it's raining eggs and milk. Raining eggs and milk? <laughs> really, Mr. Tubby? <laughs> what nonsense! <laughs> How amusing! <laughs> eggs and milk! <laughs> Whatever next! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh dear me! <laughs> what happened? You fell down, Mr. Plod. You slipped on a broken egg. It must have fallen out of the sky, <laughs> like all the others. Yes. <sighs> well, 
This is very serious. Nobody must move until I decide what to do. Oh, uh, Mr. Plod. Yes, yes, what is it? I'm busy deciding things. I have to report a missing milk churn. It's disappeared from the farm gate. Oh, oh dear. dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's the only one Mr. Straw's got, so he's offering a reward of one pound for anyone that finds it. A reward? A whole pound? Has anyone seen a milk churn? It's no good, Tessie. We've lost them. That milk churn has flown off with your eggs. Ooh. Oh, well done, Noddy. You found my basket. And there's the milk churn. We must take it straight back to Mr. Straw. Oh, the milk's gone. Oh, dear. He'll be so angry with us. We must do this properly, Tessie. That churn is lost property, so we must take it to Mr. Plod first. Then he can give it back to Mr. Straw. And Mr. Straw can tell Mr. Plod how angry he is. Then Mr. Plod can tell me. Oh, but I shan't tell you. You're so brave and kind, Noddy. Thank you. <coughs> I am to make an announcement about the reward of one pound for information. <laughs> Noddy, he's got Mr. Straw's milk churn. Oh, my word. Where did you find that milk churn, Noddy? It fell out of the sky. There's a reward of a pound for finding it. A whole pound? But what was a milk churn doing in the sky? It was flying. Tessie and I were flying my red kite in Mr. Straw's field, and when we had our picnic, we tied the kite string to his milk churn, and the kite pulled so hard on its string that it lifted the churn up into the air, with my basket of eggs on top. So the milk churn and the eggs must have flown over the market square. And that must be why we had the rain of milk and eggs. <laughs> oh, thank you, Noddy. <coughs> uh, there's a reward for that information. An egg fell on Mr. Wobbly Man. <laughs> <laughs> and another egg fell on Jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Plod slipped up on another egg. <laughs> yes, 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 it wasn't all that funny. Someone could have been hurt. <laughs> and what are you giggling at? I'm giggling because Tessie and I are going to get two rewards. I don't know about that, young man. I want you to take that milk churn back to Mr. Straw and pay him for all the milk he's lost. Yes, all right, I will. But we'll still have one reward, and as soon as you give it to me, I shall go to the cafe and buy Tessie an ice cream. Ooh. And you can come too, Mr. Plod. I think we would. How kind. <clears throat> I'll get your reward right away. Hooray! Hooray! 